Today we're going to be summoning for the new 5 star, Kamisato Ayato. Figured we'd do it here in the uh, water cube location. He is Hydro, he needs these mats. It just seems fitting. There he is, we're probably going to also go for his weapon, depending on how lucky or unlucky we get with uh, uh, Ayato himself. But we have 24k Primos, hopefully that is enough, we will see. A quick look at our history to see where we are in pity. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's Shogun. So that means we should be at 8 out of 90 currently for pity. We also do have Yunjin here, which is nice. She is, uh, I think, one of the only 4 stars I don't have C6 as of yet. So I'd like to see some of her as well, but without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. First poll is not a 5 star. What a scam. But alright, we got the uh, Favonius Greatsword. Uh, I guess I will kind of click through these because I am also looking for Yunjin. Uh, nope, that's Shanling. Next in poll, what's it gonna be? Command 5 star. It, it, it was already 4 star before I even finished. Like, you couldn't even let me finish saying 5 star. Do we get a Yunjin at least? How about a Yunjin? Oh, also, of course, not the like OG 4 stars that are only in standard banner. Those are not C6 either. Uh, no, we just got a flute. We're just we just keep getting weapons. That's kind of weird. We're not in the weapon banner How about some characters? We've gotten more weapons than characters so far another four star It's to be expected. I hope we either at least win 50 50 or don't have to go down to pity on both or near pity Lately, it's definitely well. I mean, I can't complain. I think I did get like really early five stars in some of my other sub and sessions somewhat recently so yeah, and then we got Sucro, so next should be Yunjin's turn. I forgot what constellation she actually is and how many we need, so I kind of want to check that real quick, honestly. She is currently C3, so we need three more. Um, yeah, I mean, it's possible, I guess. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue on here. Come on. I haven't really been keeping track at all. I've just been kind of blazing through them, so I'm not sure, but we must be at least around 40, 50 pity. Uh, I, I, I would think by now... And we just keep getting weapons over and over. Yeah, we've gotten the other two banner four stars, but no Yunjin as of yet. Of course, we are mainly going for Ayato, but yeah, we know we're not going to get him pretty early on in the summon. For example, like here, definitely no Ayato. <laughs> How about a Yunjin, though? Any Yunjins in chat? Yes, there we go. One of three? All right. I mean, to, to be clear... Once we get Ayato, I'm gonna stop. Would be nice to get two more Yunjins before Ayato, but that's basically just me asking to lose the 50-50 and <laughs> have to go to pity, so uh, whatever happens, happens, I guess. Still no, uh, we must be getting pretty close by now. We must be getting pretty close. Another Eye of Perception. Please stop with the weapons. I will be summoning on weapons in a, in, a, in a minute, maybe, if we have any primos left. Black Tassel, whatever, just give me the Yunjin, but we already got a weapon, so I guess that's not going to happen. We're going to do a single summon, because I think this was the first one of this pull. So let's do a single summon for our next 4 star. Mix it up a little bit. Mix up our odds. This must be a Yunjin. It is indeed. There we go. Yunjin, you're looking a little orange. Alrighty, next tin pull. I mean, we gotta be getting so close now. That golden shine, there it is. All right. Come on, win 50-50, please. Win 50-50 for me. Or at the very least, at the very least, don't give me a ka -ching. She would be C7 by now, okay? My only C6 five star, ever. And last summon session, the session after we got our C6 ka -ching, we got another ka -ching when we lost 50-50. Please don't do this to me. Like, that's all I ask. There are plenty of 5 stars it could be, but Kajinga C6 already. That's all I ask. God, that hurts so much. Getting a 5 star that is completely useless <laughs> because there's C6 already. Ouch. Um, we'll see though. We'll see. I would rather much prefer just to win 50-50 right here so we can go for the weapon as well. Please. 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 It's teasing us. It's gonna be at the end. Oh god. Oh god. Please. Just get- Yes! Yes! That's him! We won 50-50. Let's go. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, it is time to go for his weapon. Ooh, he was dead last as well, so next next character will be at 0 out of 90. Okay, but, well, that is unless we accidentally leave the weapon screen, come back, and just start summoning on characters again. Ah, uh, yeah, I've done that too. Actually, a couple times. Uh, okay, but yeah, we're going for the weapon now. Uh, hopefully we can get it 
check uh, Ayato and the weapon out together. 13.4 thousand is uh, quite a bit short to guarantee we get the weapon, so we have to have a little bit of luck here. Let's go ahead and get it started with our first tin pull here. And we have just a four star. I'm not really going for anything in particular when it comes to weapons. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and skip. Am I gonna skip? Well, let's skip the first one and then see if there are any interesting four star weapons. Uh, but no, I'm pretty sure all of those are R5. They're all pretty old weapons. Uh, next tin pull, here we go. We can go ahead and skip if it's not a five star, I suppose. Uh, this one is indeed not a five star. Let's go ahead and skip. Uh, we can take a look at our luck here at the end as well. We got one four star. Witsith is a very pog uh, catalyst, so it's cool and everything, but yeah, have one at R5 a long time ago, I guess. Next tin pull, here we go. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Uh, oh, I never checked my, my history. Okay, we're gonna have to do it. What the hell? No, why does this always happen to me? It always happens to me. I give up on the character, on the four star, go to weapon banner, boom, there they come. I'm pr I, I, I'm, I'm quite sure. I'm quite sure I'm not on the character banner, so it's kind of weird. Skip anyway. <laughs> yeah, this time we got three four stars and a Yunjin for some reason. Dude, we're definitely on weapon banner. It's right here. But anyway, let's go to history. We've done two tin pulls, right? Or three tin pulls. Oh my god, how's my memory this bad? Whatever. I'll have the counter on screen. I'll, I'll check what I have done beforehand. <laughs> um, I, I was just so taken aback by another another four star that we were going for coming in the weapon banner. It's just weird uh, how, how, how it sometimes works like that. Uh, but there was Kagura's Verity just uh, on the front of page two. So that means six plus the two or three tin pulls we've done so far. Yeah, this honestly isn't looking that hopeful right now, to be honest. Uh, so hopefully we get, we, we, we get like a lot of luck. As in, basically, it's not even a 50-50 anymore at this point. It's like, you have a 75% chance to get one of these two, and then it could be LG for the end. So it's like, you have to win the 25-75, and then the 50-50. Or, of course, just finish Epitomized Path. But anyway, let's go ahead. Yes. Dang, we're already down to 5,400. Hopefully we at least get one here, so we have a chance at it. I guess we can skip. And now we get a Sucrose. We're definitely on the weapon banner. I swear to God, it feels like I'm getting manipulated here. Uh, <laughs> no, we're on weapon banner, but we got, like, this shouldn't have any boosted rates for these units, right? Because we got Yunjin and Sucrose. I don't know if that's just a massive coincidence or not. We're on weapon. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Maybe they do have a boosted drop right there, or it's just bugged. I have no idea. Uh, it's another four star, unfortunately, so we're going to skip... I uh, got two four-star weapons, whatever, and uh, yeah, we're coming up on like our last couple of tin pulls here. We can get some uh, pulls from our things here, and of course, if totally necessary, we're gonna whale, I guess. Oh, first five-star, let's go. What's it gonna be? Ah, we got a Beto, all right. Beto's cool. Blood Tainted Great Store. Oh, no! I mean, Elegy for the End is nice, I think. I don't have it yet. But damn, that kind of sucks. Double, double five star. It's happened before, it can happen again. Double five star, let's go. Ferocious Shadow, Cool Steel, come on. Uh, I'm not feeling it actually. Ah, uh, there it was. Quite sure I don't have LG for the end. Good Vinti Bow, I, I imagine. He's still rocking Stringless for the most part. I think this would be a nice upgrade over it. I mean, Stringless has Elements of Mastery main stat, so. I mean, this will increase it by 60 as well. I don't think the main stat goes like. I don't know, what's it like, 130 or so? I wanna check that real quick before we continue summoning, honestly. Yeah, 165. This will give him 60 just straight up. And then he'll get another 100 when uh, this Millennial Movement procs, so... I think this will apply to himself as well. So yeah, you know, then energy recharge and higher base attack. So I, I think, yeah, better bow overall, probably. Of course, the Stringless also increases elemental skill and burst damage, so there's that. Uh, by quite a lot, 48%, geez. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, still pretty unfortunate. Here's our last tin pull until we have to go buy some stuff. Uh, we're gonna start with the, okay, it's just a four star. Let's go ahead and skip. Got a rust, unnecessary. Paimon's Bargains. We've already done this this month. We'll reset in a day and a half, but I guess we're not gonna wait for that. Uh, star Glitter Exchange. We could buy up to 66. What do we have here? Ningguang, Water Dude. Don't need those, of course. But I still want to save at least a couple, so we're going to get 60 of these. Uh, we still have 31. I'm sure by the end of this summon session, we'll have 34 again in case, like, a 
Kea or a Lisa or whatever comes in the shop in a day or so. But yeah, like if we're not super unlucky, we should at least see one more five star. And that is hopefully it. Weapons, yes, we're on weapons. Let's go ahead and continue on here. Uh, it is a four star, unfortunately. Let's go ahead, hit skip. Razor, Razor is cool. Already C6 a long time ago. You know, he's one of the OGs. Here we go, next one. Also, four star, skip, official, pretty pog, still C6. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, honestly. Uh, we're just like speeding through these uh, very quickly here. So yeah, but. Another four star, another rust, okay. And as far as I remember, when you don't get one of these weapons, then it's guaranteed to be one of these weapons and it's essentially a 50-50, unless they change that since they added epitomized path. Yeah, okay, that is indeed how it works. The first time you win a five star weapon in this event, which there's a 75% chance it'll be one of the promotional weapons. So we we won the 2575, but it was unfortunately not the one we were going for. And then they say, if the five star weapon you win in this event, which is not one of the promotional weapons, then you're guaranteed to get one of the promotional weapons. But there's still two of them. So it's still a 50-50 after you win the 2575. So again, now we have to win the 2575 and then the 50-50 or just, yeah, finish epitomized path, which kind of sucks, but yeah, it is what it is. Next, tin pull, here we go. Ta-da. It's, yeah, I'm really not feeling early five star, but We'll, we're just going to continue on here, hope for the best, honestly, and uh, see what happens. Wish 10, let's go, come on, please. Ooh, that is early, that is quite early. Nice. Uh, if it, if it's not the weapon though, yeah, man, epitomized path, I don't know if we'll be able to make it there without wailing, which kind of, I, 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 I generally don't, don't like doing that, but you know, whatever, it's, it's, it comes down to it. But please, just give me the weapon. Yes, that is definitely it. Yes, nice. Don't have to wail today. I mean, I wailed earlier, of course, but I don't have to wail again, at least. <laughs> uh, Haran Gapaku Futsu. Let's go. It could still be a double five star. I, I would take it. So we're going to not skip the rest because double five star is always pog. Sacrificial greatsword, blah, blah. Nothing, nothing. Come on. Huh? No, okay. I'm happy enough, happy enough. It could have definitely gone worse. Could have gone better. And yeah, we only had one tin pull left anyway. So uh, cutting it kind of close there. But all right, let's take a look at our boy. Kamisato Ayato. What are you doing with that dull blade, my boy? You deserve better than that. Here is your Haran Gapaku Futsu. Ah, uh, yeah. Suits him perfectly as you would expect. Very, very nice. Sharp design. I, I really like his character design. It's so, like, elegant. Uh, let's go ahead and throw him in our party. Give him a little look-see here. There he is. Yeah, I mean, he- Yeah, and, like, all of his moves are the same. So clean. It's like he doesn't even care who he's killing, but he's killing them. I mean, right now, he's only killing air particles. Okay, yeah, there. And then, boom, boom, boom. Can do all of his quick little normal attacks. That looks really cool as well. I like that a lot. But, all right. Guess that'll pretty much do it for this little summon session here. Again... It was kind of average luck, I would say. Wasn't super good. We we did win the 50-50, but had to go nearly to, to pity. We lost the first 50-50 for his weapon, won the second one. So yeah, pretty much as average of a summon session as you can get, really. I do think I was perhaps a little bit more fortunate than, than usual, so there's that. But yeah, guess that'll pretty much do it. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed it is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks. As always for watching, and until next time.